Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kavya and I'm so excited for you guys to watch today's video because it features two no cook, no heat, no flame, uh, no oven, no microwave recipes and they are super easy to put together. All you need is fresh ingredients and other spices that are easily available in any kitchen. So I'm not going to keep this intro too long. I really want you to just sit back, relax, enjoy the video and get inspired to put these two recipes together. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. We are so close to 25k. Hit the bell icon so that you know every time I upload a new video which is on a weekly basis. And yeah, without wasting any further time, let's get straight into this video. So to get a guacamole started, you're gonna need two nice ripe avocados. This is how I like to cut open my avocados. I usually slit it open with a knife, twist it like this. And if it's nice and ripe, it'll just come off like this very easily. And the seed too is gonna come off super easily if it's nice and ripe. If not, you can always use the knife technique to get rid of the pit. Now you're gonna create these slits like this on the avocado. I really like how it's super easy to scoop it out with a spoon once you've created the slits on the avocado. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the exact same process um, with my second half of the avocado. So I've used two avocados here and that's how much you will need to create a decent quantity but you can always up your avocados to create more. Now, once you have your avocados in place, chopped, you're gonna go ahead and use a fork to slightly begin by mashing it. Use a light hand, but just go ahead mashing it all the way through and you're gonna continue this until you get a really nice, smooth consistency. Now, I like my guacamole really nice and smooth and creamy, but some people do like it chunky. So you can also not go all the way to this nice smooth consistency and leave it a little chunky or you can go ahead and make the smooth consistency and just add in the chunks later. Either way, we're going ahead and chopping up our ingredients. First up, I'm going to use half an onion and I'm just going to make sure that I'm chopping it really fine because I don't like very chunky onion pieces in my wok but this is again a personal preference. I think I'm going to be chopping all the vegetables really fine because that's how I like it. Next up, you're going to need an jalapeno or a chili pepper. This is completely optional but I do like a little bit of spice in my wok. So feel free to skip this step if spice isn't your thing but trust me, a little bit of uh, this can really give that extra kick to your guacs. Now take a nice ripe uh, tomato, make sure that it's really nice and plump and not very runny because that will make your guacamole really watery and you don't want that. So again, finely chopping all my tomatoes and that's it. It's time to put it all together. I'm going and adding in the red onions that we finely chopped and just going to follow it up with the pepper and the tomato. As far as the seasoning goes, I like to keep it super simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a bit of salt as per taste. And then I'm going to go ahead and give a generous squeeze of lemon juice. Trust me guys, this is what is going to give it a really nice twist. And make sure you don't skimp out on the lemon juice. You can also add a little bit of garlic powder if you want. Uh, and yeah, just mix it all up and it's as easy as that. Once you have your guacamole looking something like this, you know you are done. You can always add in a little bit of coriander. I like a lot of coriander. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and add a lot of coriander into my guacamole. Give it a good mix again and that's it. You are ready to serve this. And let me show you um, some really fun ways of serving this. What I absolutely love about the guacamole is that there is no one way of serving it. You can actually pair it with so many different things and it tastes so good. It goes really well with your um, nachos, tortilla chips, burritos or even with salads and the list is endless. So what I'm going to be showing you today is just basically pairing it with a 
bit of nachos it tastes really good as a dip and this is such a fabulous get healthy recipe if you want to just snack on something this tastes absolutely amazing and it's also a great dish to put together when you are going to have friends coming over you can add in some sour cream and some chicken if you like and just go and load up your nachos like they serve it in the restaurant and trust me guys you have to try this out it is so yummy another way is to just um spread this guac on a toast and you know pair it with some egg it's going to taste fabulous so yeah or even as a dip like here all you need is an avocado everything else is almost always easily available in every kitchen and it really takes less than 10 minutes to put this together and you don't really need to be a cook to uh, serve your best guacamole to everyone around Okay so for this pineapple salsa you're going to need a pineapple <laughs> but anyway I'm going to be serving this pineapple salsa in this really nice pineapple bowl kind of a uh, situation and that looks fabulous when you have guests coming over it looks so fancy so that's why I'm going to go ahead and cut my pineapple into two equal halves but suppose you have pineapple slices don't worry you don't need to have the pineapple um, shell as such to make this recipe you can serve it in a regular bowl and it's going to taste just as good so yeah once you've divided your pineapple into two halves you're just going to take your knife and begin carving out um, this bowl kind of a thing just to get out all the fruit from the pineapple and create these little cubes that i'm showing you right now and it's going to be super easy to take out those pineapple chunks into a bowl and you will be left with a really nice clean pineapple bowl Just like the guacamole, this recipe too is all about fresh ingredients and that's it. So what we're going to be doing now is cutting our pineapple into really nice thin uh, small chunks. You are free to keep the chunks a lot more bigger but I find that smaller chunks are usually easier to you know load onto your chips or anything of that sort. So I like to keep it like really thin but you can always adjust the consistency as per your liking. So I'm just putting aside the chopped pineapple into a bowl and moving on to my next ingredient which is um, a ripe tomato. Again you want to make sure that your tomato is really nice and firm and not runny or watery and cut it into really nice fine pieces adding it again to the same bowl where we have our pineapple put in and moving on to the next ingredient which is this fiery red bell pepper now this red bell pepper is going to give your pineapple salsa that really nice crunch and it also complements the taste of the pineapple because that's really nice and juicy and this one's nice and crunchy so it really goes well and not to mention it looks so beautiful with the yellows contrasting with these beautiful reds um, amazing it looks so nice and so fresh and of course you're going to go ahead and add in some um, chili pepper or an jalapeno as per your personal preference again chopping it really nice and fine so that it all blends in seamlessly once we put it together which is exactly what I'm going to be doing right now just throwing in the peppers and adding in the tomato as far as the seasoning is concerned for this salsa I'm again going to be keeping it super simple because that's all that you need okay so just going to go ahead and add in some coriander this is going to give it a really nice um, fresh kick and then I'm going to go ahead and add lemon add a lot of lemon because it goes really well with the a sweet tangy taste of the pineapple it just will bring it all together and I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt as per taste and a good dash of black pepper 
this again tastes amazing because it just contrasts all those tastes that are in there and gives it such a nice lift so yeah just give your pineapple salsa a good mix and you are good to go it's ready to serve and i can't wait to show you the numerous possibilities of pairing this pineapple salsa with so many things uh, make sure you're tasting it and checking if you need to add anything before you get serving so to serve i am bringing back the pineapple bowl that we carved out right at the start of shooting this recipe and i'm going to go ahead and fill it up with my pineapple salsa now trust me if you have your pineapple salsa served like this in a pineapple bowl on your table when you have guests over it is bound to be a conversation starter everyone's going to love the presentation and it just looks so good it tastes so fresh and it's so healthy so yeah i'm just putting it all in in my pineapple bowl and the way that i'm going to be serving it today for you guys is with some crisps and some uh, nachos again this pairs beautifully with a bunch of other things so while this is one way of serving it another great way of serving a pineapple salsa is actually as a side with um grilled chicken or salmon or anything grilled and roasted it goes so well and even with your salads so if you have like a salad situation going on serve this as a side dish and bam it's going to taste so good so fresh so full of flavor and of course if nothing just pair your guacamole with this pineapple salsa and have a bunch of crisps chips nachos tortilla chips and you are good to host a bunch of friends it's going to be such an effortless thing to put together i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and really liked those two recipes that i showed you today so do tag me on instagram if you happen to recreate any of these recipes and do let me know in the comments below if you like me to work on a series like this i think that be really interesting right like no cook recipes i don't know tell me in the comments below what you think or what more you'd like to see in the series cook with kavya so yeah until the next video bye